Hi everybody. It's time for more Dark Souls 2. We are in Dring Lake Castle. But not for long, I don't think. This area is quite a bitch. I kind of do want to go talk to the one guy at the entrance, the half-invisible guy, before I get out of here, though. So we're going to do that real quick. Well, maybe if we can manage to warp to a different bonfire than the one we're already sitting at. That was awesome. Ah, uh, okay. Or maybe I could just find my way out of here. It's possible. Fuckers. Hadn't been that way either to the left over there. I might just go back to the main room though. <clears throat> They'll probably follow me up here. Yeah. Yump. Who else? Come on. No? Y'all leaving? Yomp. Oh shit. Yomp. Oh god. Oh god. Ha! Ouch. Alright. Who are you? Who are you? And by whose permission do you stand before me? Ditto. This castle is the domain of King Vendrick. Is your trespass intentional? Yes, I'm supposed to find that guy. The tree root monster fire thing told me to. Where has he gone? You are a guest of our castle. I am the Chancellor. Veliger. Veliger. Do you seek an audience with my lord, King Vendrick? I guess. Unfortunately, his highness is absent. My lord, the king has... The queen has taken him. The queen has my taken him. My lord made magnificent <coughs> findings on souls. An accomplishment for the ages. He vanquished four great ones and built this kingdom upon their souls. Our king has watched over this land since ages long, long ago. King Vendrick, we must fight back, or the giants will take Dragleg. I don't know if this guy's living in the present or the past. Because the giants are all dead. And he's saying the giants are going to take over Drang Lake. But that ain't going to happen. Because I killed the last one. Ha <laughs> ha. A woman of unparalleled beauty. Long ago, the queen came to us. Alone. From a faraway land. She warned our lord of the looming threat across the seas. Of the giants. The king crossed the ocean and defeated the giants with the queen at his side. And the then? king commandeered their power and created the golems. With the golems, the king created this castle to celebrate victory and to show his love and his gratitude to his queen. The queen brought peace to this land and to her king. The peace so deep, it was like the dark. Is this some sort of a dream? I think you're in a dream. 
Where am I? <clears throat> what has happened to our castle? Who are you? And by whose permission do you stand before me? Welcome, visitor. This guy's off his rocker. Our guests are treated with honor. This is the way of our castle. Tell me if you should require anything. So he sells unlimited repair powder, that's cool. Expensive though. I kinda want this one, but I don't know, not really. I mean, I've got a couple different weapons that I like to use. Got my great sword and my Zvi, so I'm not really worried too much about it. My lord made magnificent findings. He vanquished Arkham. Have you heard this? The king had long ago the king. Alright. Gone so soon. Yep. Be safe on your travels. Alright, we're gonna go see what's in this door if I can open it before we get out of here. Hmm. Kinda creepy. And a lot of blood stains. I guess they got chased up here by those guys rather than the guys appearing in there. Alright, I don't remember how far it is back to this bonfire over here, but we'll run over here anyway. Hey guys, how you doing? Next we're going back to the Iron Keep. I believe I have spotted a way, by watching my other videos, a way to get to an item that I've been wanting to get to, and maybe even get to that fucking sniper up there next to the Pharaoh's Lockstone spot, because I've been itching to kill that motherfucker ever since I arrived in the Iron Keep. He's going down. Very soon. Hello guy. Someday you'll talk to me. I believe it. Maybe once I save the fucking world, you'll give me the time of day, buddy. Have I ever been up here? I think I might have come down this way, actually. No, I haven't ever gone up this way. <sighs> yep, I'm just farting around at the moment. Okay. <clears throat> Tired of this walking around for no reason, so let's get out of here. Let's 
start. Yeah. So happy I got the yump down. You just gotta do it fast as hell. Alright, so if I jump onto this platform right here, or actually I could probably make the jump just from over there, I don't have to get onto those that other crazy ledge. Yeah, you just jump over right here. If I can do it. If I don't fuck it up. Jump! Yes! Oh my god, I'm gonna kill that guy so hard. Dull Ember? Ah, oh, that's the guy in the Lost Best Steel's Ember, I bet. Please be. You motherfucker. Oh, I've been waiting to kill you forever and I can't even hit you. Okay. I should know what these goddamn two pharaoh stones that I used in here did. So confusing! All I did is fill a pool of water. Okay, um... We're gonna give something a shot here.
That says fire defense 36. That can't be my total fire defense. That has to be just my base fire defense. I don't get it. Okay. Two, uh, yeah, it's 260, not 36. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to uh, jump in the water. Jump down there. Give this a shot. Probably die a horrible death, but whatever. Yeah, that's not good. Give me it! No! Oh, come on! Full smelter armor and a fire ring. Still no good. Bet you I can get this one now, though. Give me that. Ah! And that one over there, maybe. Maybe. That human effigy I just picked up will pay for all these deaths I'm doing. <laughs> all these deaths I'm about to do. There's no fucking way. Well, I guess if I heal in between, I can run across this one and run across that one. I don't know. We'll see. Pretty sure death awaits, though. Make sure we get a good angle on here so we don't roll right the fuck off. What's up, Naruto? I believe we played Dark Souls together. And uh, I'm putting up all these videos on YouTube, so I tell the people that I play with so they can check it out. Why am I going to summon this guy with what I've got on right now? I have no idea. I remember right, you may have been the one I had a duel with on the bridge here. Killed me pretty quick and easy. <laughs> okay. Getting out of here. I really should spend some time going through my equipment and looking at stuff. Because I've got all kinds of stuff. I don't even know what it does at the moment. thing we're going to here I guess or here ok 
Okay, this is where I need to be. I need to be over here. going on here? Huh. Praise the sun. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Other things I needed to do. <sighs> Let me get back to the bonfire and I'll figure that out. Pissed off that NPC in the Shaded Woods, and I've been told that there's a, well I figured there was a partner, and I asked my friend what area it was in, because I really do want to like, resolve that, because I don't want to miss any NPC stuff if I can help it. So I at least accepted what area they were in. Should be in Brightstone, near the chapel, is what he told me. That's where we're headed. the secret passage. Hmm. Look guys, my title on Twitch says no spiders allowed. You guys are breaking the rules, timing all y'all out. So 
does that like cover me in water or what? I'm leaving footprints. Are those wet footprints or am I really that filthy? I love that I can somewhat aim the swing of this sword, like mid-swing. Like I hit R1 a couple times, and uh, after the first one, I can point a direction and actually change the angle. Very, very handy. about that. Always come from the other side. Good times, good times. <clears throat> I think I'm on the wrong side of the freaking chapel, like, I don't know. <clears throat> I think this is how I got to the chapel in the first place. I think it might be on the other side of the chapel. Yeah, I should have I came in through this way. I follow these guys right here. Gotta be it. Looks like the partner to me. Looks exactly like the freaking partner. I don't know why he didn't have his uh, arm stretched out though. That's disappointing. Where's the well? What is it, huh? Something seems to be bothering you. Yes. Yes, yes, I can. I smacked a bird lady. It is written upon your face. And she's pissed at me now. You have doubts about something you did. Yep. I am Crom. Regret 
anguish, disillusion, bewilderment. What? It's better not cost me like a million dollars. Together, they are the essence of life. Don't you agree? But now, you're lost, bewildered by your own actions. You poor little thing. Yes, yes, how time and frail are we? But if your heart is yet sincere, your sins will be forgiven. Now is the chance. Demonstrate your sincerity to me. I already got these two. The curse doesn't seem to really be that bad. You seek indulgence? Then tell me of your transgression. Father, forgive me. I have sinned. I smite the bird, lady. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Seriously? A hundred and fifteen thousand fucking souls. Then you such virtuous thought. You seek. Then such. That's insane. I guess that's my level. I'm level one fifteen. He wants a hundred and fifteen fucking K. Anyone can be forgiven as long as he is sincere. No matter how. Terrible Surely, we all deserve mercy. Yes. Anyone can be forgiven, no matter how. Surely, anyone can. Surely. Whenever you are ready. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get closer anyway. Um, go visit the weapon guy, see if any of these are gonna be good weapons for me, and if not, I'm using them. 115,000 fucking souls, that's insane. And it sucks. Okay. So bonfire right outside, that's cool. And give the ember to this guy first. What's up, dude? Flynn, Flynn, I smell flame on you. I'm not doing the blacksmith. All I want is a little flame. So, hand that ember to me. Right now, you in the seal. You really gotta talk like that, motherfucker? <laughs> what a marvelous ember. You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones, and I'll fortify your gear. Cool. I've been wanting to infuse some shit. Hmm. <laughs> it's 
especially like maybe my um, bastard sword or zvi. We're gonna wait. Chikatana! That's a good one. Infinite large titanite shards, very nice. We're gonna wait on that. Hundred and fifteen thousand fucking souls. Is it even fucking worth it? Ooh, almost hit him again. <laughs> Let's piss off this guy too, huh? It's a great idea. Ouch. Yeah, what I'm really wondering is if there's another soul trader because he doesn't list any of the ones I've gotten lately. So now it's like a question of holding out for maybe getting awesome weapon later on with these souls or using them to fix the NPC. I've got weapon though. I like my sword. And it's got... Oh, well, it's cutting my hat in half. <laughs> um, you know, it's all right if we fuck something up because. I will be playing this again. I know I can't do everything in, a, in this first blind run. Oh, we're getting close! Oh, we're so close! Oh, we got it! Wow. Okay. Let's do it. one was it? <laughs> this one I think. Uh, no. What? The fuck does that mean? Oh, this guy. This game is a lot more tolerant than Dark Souls 1 when it comes to enemies near the bonfire. But I actually haven't ever been, ever seen that. <sighs> yeah, well, it's a... Uh, it's a judgment call, Maloney. The guy that I trade uh, those souls for weapons doesn't have any of those listed. So there's either another soul trader later on that I can get different weapons with or you just can't use them for weapons.
But I need the money to pardon myself for pissing off the bird lady, when so. Your face Donald, Here we go, 115,000 fucking souls of this asshole. Take all my money, you bitch. Luckily, it's only like five levels up. <laughs> Not like a hundred. <laughs> Anyway, I already have a sword that's probably going to carry me through the rest of the game anyway. Now we're going to go talk to that goddamn bird lady. Where is she? Here, I think. Yep. Okay. Should be over here, and then to the right, and then down a pit. Where that fucking wheelchair guy is that I'm just also obsessed with getting to talk to eventually. Yep, right down here. Alright. Oh no! Come on, you need to go down faster than that curse. Come on. Ooh. Anybody else around here fuck with me? You're not mad now, right, bird lady? Cool. Nobody else is gonna run in here and I'm gonna smack you and piss you off again. I think at this one it's a thousand per level and I'm at level 115, so 115,000 fucking souls. Thank you for helping me. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? What was that? Thank you, kind traveler. Where's your abode? I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my Where's home. your home? Thank you, kind traveler. Other enemies. I don't know. Maybe so. That guy up there I want to talk to so fucking bad. Gotta find a way in there. Exactly. And I couldn't lock on. But I thought that was because this game has problems locking on around the corners. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought she was one of the ones from DS1.
let's go up there. See if we can't find a way down. Okay, so it's like right inside there. I want to remember this tree on the edge right here. It's my guide. No reason to die now, come on. Right, so... It's over here. Try that again without the dying part. Alright, here's my tree, here's my marker. Basically right here where I need to be. What? Huh, okay. Mission accomplished. Soul mass, completely useless to me. Now, who the fuck are you? Ah, look how far this undead has wandered. And a very fit undead you are. You get. Dark sorcery hex guy. The dark is still nascent within you. May the dark shine your way. The dark is. Alright. <clears throat> now, um, okay, let's get back to a bonfire and I can figure out what my next mission was today. Not much time left today, though. It's gonna be a short day. Maybe I'll do another hour later.
I'm going to go kill the first armadillo. Because I've never killed, well, armadillo. I say armadillo, but those big fat armadillo looking monster guys at the beginning of the game. Never killed one, still, to this day. Let's try talking to these guys again. I haven't visited them in a long time. No, same bullshit. Okay. Last time I tried to kill one of these armadillos, recently, they ate my head, so... Maybe it'll go better this time. Alright. Over here... And then to the right. Yep. It's time, motherfucker. Me and you. Ha! Ah! Not so tough now, are you? Stone ring. Hmm. What is that? Additional reduction of enemy poise. The beloved ring of the gallant shieldless Lothian, former of formerly of Ferosa, hits greatly reduce enemy poise. The effect may seem trivial, but for those who comprehend how critical it is to exploit a hole in enemy defenses, the significance of this ring will be clear. It is very clear. I understand completely. <clears throat> that's a cool one. I think I got another ring that's from that guy. Shieldless Lothian. Yep, Ring of Giants. So it looks like anything that has to do with poise is that shieldless guy. Guess he needed it since he ain't got no shield. Okay, now there's two more to kill. Gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. An item over here by these two guys as well. That I don't know if I'm ever gonna get. It seems like it's way out in the middle of the lake. I don't even know if it's on dry land. Well, while we're here, might as well do this too. I believe it's random what they give you when you give them stuff. Oops, damn it. Why did I say use? At least it was a small one, not a big one. Fire Drake Stone. Fire Drake stuff. Okay. God damn it. Uh -uh. No! No! Oh god. This is what happened last time. Oh fuck. <laughs> All right, one.
one more time. Yeah, one more time. <clears throat> I really need to alert one of them without the other one. So maybe if we kite him. Oh shit! Get off of that! <laughs> uh. Wow. Go away! Fucking hell. Come on, you guys are too fat for that. You can't go up there. Alright, not much room here, but okay. It's a nice exploit. Oh! One more. Where's he going? Right in your bum. Now the item I was talking about is right over here. If that's even an item. Is that even a fucking item? I don't think it is. I just thought that was. It's shiny. Okay. We're done here. I just got a few more minutes left, so I'm going to go do some dumb stuff. It doesn't really need to be done, but whatever. Um, hmm. so I think next uh, I'm actually going to do the first DLC, or what I think would be the first DLC in Black Gulch, which is this Shulva Sanctum City. Came here, discovered it, and then left. Felipe's on my ass about doing the DLC soon because he doesn't want me to, me to be overpowered whenever I'm doing it. Because apparently the DLCs are like one of the coolest parts of the game. Old Growth Balm? Hold on. Old Growth Balm. Where'd it go? Temporarily increases strength. This special fragrant oil affects the mind, granting a fleeting sense of empowerment. Thought maybe it was something to use on those trees that I've spotted in a few places. 
Jump off, there you go. <laughs> this is like one of those elevators in the DS1 uh, DLCs. Well, the DLC. So that's cool. That'll be a shortcut to later in the level. <laughs> Jump off, really? No, thank you. So I got here. We're going this way. All right. But anyway, next time we will continue on in this place. I got shit to do today, but I might be back a little bit later. Bye bye.